In this movie, we're going to do almost the reverse of what we did in the last movie. In the last movie, we knew exactly where our substring was going to start and where it was going to finish. In this movie, we're not sure exactly where within the larger string we're going to find our substring, but we know exactly what it is. Let's have a look at how we can carry out this functionality using Perl. We're starting with the same large string from which we're going to pull our substring. However, this time we don't know a specific place in the string at which we're going to find our substring. All we know is that we're looking for the substring thing. What we can use to achieve this is we can use a different function called index. And what index gives us is not a string, but the position at which the particular string that we're searching for can be found. So what we end up with here is the numeric value of the position. And how we do that is to use the index function with two arguments. The first argument is the name of the string in which we're going to search. That could be the name of a variable in this case, or we could use a literal string enclosed in quotation marks. The second argument is the substring that we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for the substring thing. Now, the index function will always show us the first instance that it finds of the substring that we're looking for. If we wanted to find the last instance of that particular substring within the main string, we could use a different function, and that's our index for reversed index. So this time, we're finding the last instance of the thing substring within our larger string.